My first car was a 1974 Volkswagen Super Beetle. In the world of counting cars, change is the only constant. But the switch from Scott Jones to Kevin Mack left fans scratching their heads. What's the real story behind this major cast change? Was it a clash of titans or a strategic move? In today's episode, we're putting the pieces together to solve this puzzle. Get ready for an eye-opening journey into the heart of counting cars, where we reveal the untold story of Scott's exit and Kevin's entry. Buckle up, it's going to be a wild ride. Let's kick off with a quick journey through the history of counting cars. This show isn't just any TV series. It's a ride into the fascinating world of car restoration and customization. Launched by the History Channel, it quickly revved up to popularity, becoming a favorite among car enthusiasts and casual viewers alike. At the heart of counting cars is Danny Coker, a charismatic figure with a deep passion for cars. Danny's expertise and love for automotive restoration make him the soul of the show. He's not just the boss, He's a mentor and an inspiration to his team at Counts Customs, his Las Vegas-based shop. Then there's Scott Jones, who initially took the spotlight as the shop manager. Scott's sharp skills in managing the business and his interactions with the team added a unique flavor to the show. His role was crucial in keeping the wheels of Counts Customs turning smoothly. Enter Kevin Mack, another key figure who brought a new dynamic to the series. Kevin's arrival marked a significant shift in the show introducing fresh perspectives and ideas. The appeal of counting cars lies in its blend of fascinating car transformations and the personal stories of those behind the wheel. It's not just about the cars, it's about the people who bring them back to life. In the early seasons of counting cars, Scott Jones emerged as a pivotal figure. His role went beyond just managing the day-to-day -day operations of Count's Customs. Scott was the backbone of the shop, ensuring that everything ran like a well-oiled machine. His expertise wasn't just in managing the business side of things, he also had a keen eye for detail and a deep understanding of the automotive restoration process. Scott's contributions to the show were significant. He brought a sense of order and discipline to the workshop, which was essential in a place buzzing with creative energy and ongoing projects. His ability to coordinate tasks, manage finances, and keep the team on track was crucial for the successful completion of the car restorations that the show is known for. The shift from Scott Jones to Kevin Mack in counting cars marked a notable turning point in the show. This transition wasn't just a change in personnel, it brought a new energy and direction to the series. Kevin stepped in with his own style, which contrasted with Scott's approach. Where Scott was known for his structured management, Kevin brought a different vibe, blending well with the creative spirit of the garage Audience reactions to this change were mixed. Some longtime viewers missed Scott's straightforward, no-nonsense approach, feeling it added a unique layer to the show. Others welcomed Kevin's arrival, intrigued by the fresh perspective he brought to the table. This shift in cast dynamics led to a subtle yet noticeable change in the show's overall feel. The narrative and focus of counting cars also evolved with Kevin's inclusion. The show started exploring new themes and ideas, reflecting Kevin's influence. This evolution was a natural progression for a series centered around creativity and passion for cars. The transition was more than just a change of faces. It was a step into a new chapter for counting cars, one that promised to keep the audience engaged with new stories and automotive adventures. When Scott Jones left counting cars, it set the fan community abuzz with theories and speculations. Viewers, always keen on understanding the behind-the-scenes dynamics, came up with various ideas about why Scott was replaced by Kevin Mack. These theories ranged from simple job changes to more dramatic reasons involving conflicts and show politics. One popular theory among fans was that Scott might have left due to disagreements with other team members or the management style at Count's Customs. This speculation was fueled by the assertive nature Scott displayed on the show, leading some to believe that it might have led to off-screen tensions. However, this theory, like many others, lacked concrete evidence and remained in the realm of speculation. Another line of thought was that Scott's departure was a career move, a decision to pursue other opportunities or personal interests. This seemed plausible, considering the demanding nature of the show and the stress of being in the limelight. Yet. Without official confirmation, this too remained a guess. 
Amidst these rumors, the show and its cast members remained largely silent on the reasons behind the change. The lack of an official statement left a void, filled by the fans' imagination and discussions. This silence from the show's creators, and Scott himself, only added to the mystery, making the transition seem more intriguing. In the end, while fan theories and speculations added an interesting layer to the show's narrative, they remained unverified. The true reason behind Scott's replacement by Kevin Mack was never publicly clarified, leaving it as one of the unsolved mysteries of counting cars. T, what do you think about this transition? Did it change your view of the show? Drop your thoughts in the comments below. We'd love to hear your take on this intriguing piece of TV history, dot art, due to the intrigue surrounding the cast changes.